Early Tuesday morning, Canton police responded to a break-in and found 20-year-old Faustino Ramirez and his pregnant sister, 19-year-old Martina Ramirez, shot and killed. Her one-year-old daughter was found shot in the cheek and was rushed to UMMC in critical condition. We've now learned that she's recovering at home with family. And I can tell you that this is something the entire city of Canton and our police department condemns. Uh, we do not want to see this this in our community. We spoke with a friend of the victims who, out of fear, asked to not be identified. He says the Hispanic community has been targeted before and needs more protection. We're asking the mayor to bring us more protection because this is happening to us. Why is it happening to us Hispanics? Not just us, the community. But this is not, we're humans too. When asked about possible targeting of the Hispanic community, Mayor Truly has this to say. And I have not seen any perpetuation of biases and prejudice toward uh, a, a, a minority group, in particular in this instance, uh, the Hispanic community. Uh, we want this person behind bars. We don't want this person running around the community thinking it's okay to kill uh, people, uh, pregnant women, uh, Latinos, the Hispanic community. Uh, I want them to feel safe in our community just like, you know, we feel safe in the community. Can police are still searching for a suspect and are asking for anyone with information to come forward and contact Crime Stoppers. Cecil, joining us now live. Uh, Cecil, what are leaders in the city of Canton police trying to do to get people to come forward with information? Yeah, they really need people to come forward. So right now, there's a reward of up to $2,500. It looks like we did lose Cecil. We will tell you he was letting us know that there is a reward on the line, $2,500 for information in this case. We'll keep you updated as we learn more.